Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak and in this video I am going to show you a couple of great improvements to Photoshop CS 6.1. So let me just zoom closer and let's just say I, will, I would like to use the pen tool to make a selection on this image of this car. So I am going to select the pen tool with path mode and if I zoom closer, let's just start uh, doing the path somewhere here. I click and then I click and drag and if I decide to move this anchor point around before I am actually letting it go I can now finally use the space to move it around and then adjust, still adjust my anchor and also the handles to set exactly where I want this point to be so if I again go further I click and then if I decide to move it a little bit further to the right I can do it and it saves so much time. So with this feature, finally, we can work with the pen tool exactly the way we would do it in Illustrator. And if you also want to see your curves uh, before actually drawing them, you can always use the option called rubber band, which was in previous versions as well. But now together with uh, using the space, to move anchor points around and also the rubber band to see our curves even before uh, placing them down this tool became very powerful and very easy to learn for new uh, users so users who haven't used the pen tool before so the rubber band and this new feature with the space uh, keyboard shortcut will definitely make it easier to work with this tool so as you can see it's much faster and much more precise to work with the pen tool with this little feature. So remember, just hold down space while you are uh, drawing to be able to place it or uh, put it somewhere else, the anchor points. And finally, there is one more feature which I would like to show in this video, and that is about merging layers. Now, this is a very useful improvement. If I have a couple of layers and I want to merge them together, now Photoshop will be much smarter to be able to use the user defined uh, layer name for the merged result instead of using always the topmost uh, layer name. So in this case, it would normally use layer four if I merge these three layers together. But if I define this layer to be, let's say icon text, and then I select these three layers and then choose merge layers, or command E. Then as you can see, Photoshop will understand that it's more important to use the layer name which I defined instead of using the one on the top which doesn't really make sense. Let me show you before. So it was layer four and once I merge these together again it will use the one in the middle because that was the user defined layer name. So that's also a, a little improvement but still can help you and save you time in the future. 